welcome back y'all. So I know I can't be the only one who gets in a mood and would do anything to avoid being asked to do something. Anything. And because I know that everyone wants to avoid doing things sometimes, I'm going to share my tips and tricks on how to avoid being asked to do anything. Number one, the sleeper. So this is one I've used throughout my whole life to get out of things, and I'll key you in on something right now. No one actually believes this trick. However, most people aren't rude enough to actually wake someone up that they think is asleep. To Knowing that they're going to come in and tell me to do the dishes, but being unwilling to do them, I quickly grab the nearest blanket and curl up under it. The next step is to get rid of my phone, so I shove it carefully under my pillow and wait for them to come in. Now, this waiting period can last, well, a long time. They don't always come right away. Waiting can get very boring, and it's too dangerous to stay on your phone, so usually I just default to actually just going to sleep. That way, you're not even actually lying about anything. Number two, the huh? So, this one is a little bit tricky because people tend to catch on very quickly. I still use it to my fullest, though. Because let me tell you, one of the most annoying things anyone can do is ask me to repeat myself. If I need an answer from you, and you don't give me one because you didn't hear me, I'll repeat myself on my own. I don't need you to ask me to repeat myself. Because chances are, I was probably talking to myself anyway, and I wasn't talking to you. Don't care if you heard me. <sighs> anyway, so this trick goes a little bit like, the no thanks so this one like the hmm, doesn't usually work um, there's always a chance that you might confuse them so much that they drop it though more likely is that you'll convince them that you know cuz cuz they asked you and I mean you said no thanks so like why would they why would they tell you that you have to do it because they asked you and you said no and like that's just so freaking rude of them hey could you do the dishes no thanks I wasn't really asking you if you would. Okay, but I mean, you did. I mean, you know, thanks for giving me the option to, so. Number four. It's a classic. Ignoring. Made easier via the earbuds. So. This one usually works. I mean, it's societal expectation to just leave people alone when they have earbuds in, right? And, you know, most people actually follow this, except for, you know, like, some people. <coughs> Parents. <coughs> people on the street. Oh, wow. That cough came out of nowhere. That's crazy. Um, so this is the one that I would most highly recommend. Hey, what's up, dude? Hello? <laughs> That's all I have for you today, y'all. If you like it, leave a like. While you're down there, maybe subscribe too. And if you really like it, you can even hit that bell notification so you know when I post. If you have any more suggestions on how to make sure that people leave you alone, comment. I'd love to know. Really, I would love to know. <laughs> Despite this video, keep it nice, y'all.